Welcome to XM.com for the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujos. UK MPs will get the chance today to decide whether to go ahead with debating the Withdrawal Agreement Bill, which aims to turn the Brexit deal into law. The House Speaker refused to allow Boris Johnson to hold a meaningful vote on his Brexit deal yesterday, but MPs will be able to vote later today on whether they support the bill in principle. If that passes, they will vote again on the timetable of the bill. The government is pushing to get the bill through the House of Commons by Thursday, so it can then move on to the House of Lords, as there's less than 10 days to go before Brexit Day. However, many MPs want a longer timetable given the huge number of clauses that needed to be debated and possibly amended by Parliament. Should one or more of those amendments pass, Boris Johnson might decide to pull the bill and take his chances by calling a general election. The British pound was slightly softer on Tuesday. However, it may be difficult for sterling to hold on to its gains if British lawmakers derail Johnson's Brexit plan. The euro was also trading close to its highs, while US dollar was a little changed against the basket of currencies. The risk-sensitive Australian and New Zealand dollars were slightly firmer as investors grew increasingly confident that the US and China will sign a phase one trade agreement by mid-November. President Trump told reporters yesterday the deal with China is coming along very well, and his optimism was echoed by China's vice foreign minister. Equities were the biggest beneficiaries of the renewed optimism, with the S&P 500 once again approaching its all-time high. The Canadian dollar scaled fresh three-month highs, even as Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau lost his majority in Monday's federal election. But with markets not reacting significantly to the election outcome, retail sales data and the Bank of Canada's Business Outlook survey due later today could trigger a bigger response from traders. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching us at XM.com.